I am a metahuman, the next generation of digital human powered by Unreal Engine. Metahumans are high fidelity digital characters created by you, the user, on our new content creation platform, Metahuman Creator. I am fully rigged, ready for animation and motion capture, allowing you to work in context. With everything running live in Unreal Engine, my motion works seamlessly. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a metahuman DNA asset for any skeletal mesh with any skeleton. Uh, I've done another video a while back uh, where I did the same thing, but now I think I have a better example with uh, a custom skeleton. Uh, this is a skeleton I've created. I've chopped uh, a, a mannequin uh, hand and I've just uh, recreated uh, some uh, skeleton bones here with some weights. Uh, it's not perfect, but for our experiments, uh, it's uh, gonna be fine, right? So uh, let's uh, get started. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make this uh, hand uh, act like a metahuman, right? So uh, this is a, a normal metahuman, and we're gonna transfer some functionality from this metahuman to our uh, custom skeleton uh, mesh, right? Uh, again, this is not uh, a case where we fit the uh, hand uh, mesh on the metahuman skeleton. This is a custom skeleton with custom mesh. We don't uh, care too much about metahumans, only that we get the DNA asset. So to get started, uh, we need to go to any metahuman. You can download any metahuman and uh, go to transfer DNA and select your mesh. And uh, I've done uh, this uh, mapping uh, for uh, my early uh, experiments, and uh, this is how I mapped uh, the arm bone. I uh, made it uh, spine 05. This one, this is spine 05, uh, uh, 04, sorry. Uh, the wrist, uh, it's gonna be uh, neck 01. Uh, the palm center is gonna be head. So when we look around, we look like this. And uh, another uh, thing, what uh, we have is thumb is going to be the jaw. So when uh, he talks, it's going to do like this, right? And um, uh, eyes are going to be, uh, right eye is going to be the uh, index uh, finger. It's going to look uh, like this up and down, left and right. Uh, pinky is going to be the uh, left eye. And uh, middle finger and ring uh, is, are going to be the years, right? So this is uh, this is the plan here. And uh, let's uh, now let's uh, just press OK and let's create the metahuman DNA functionality on our mesh, right? Uh, so uh, when uh, the transfer is completed, uh, you need uh, to do uh, one thing: make sure you have a post-process animation blueprint assigned to your mesh. Right, I'm just gonna. Uh, I've created earlier one. This is what you have to do input pose, animation rig logic, and output pose. Right, so I'm just gonna assign this. Uh, let's save, and uh, now uh, let's uh, get back to our uh, uh, new custom skeleton meta human mesh, whatever. So uh, let's uh, let's see. Uh, what uh, we need to, to do now is uh, let's reopen Poser first. What we need to do now is uh, that uh, we have to uh, create uh, uh, the expressions for the selected bones, right? For those correspondence uh, that uh, we've selected in transfer DNA, we now have curves created and also corrective uh, morph targets uh, if uh, we need them, right? We're not going to use the corrective morph targets in this video because we are going to create the expressions using bones, right? So uh, let's uh, start uh, when uh, jaw is open. 
uh, we're gonna uh, select the thumb. Uh, you will see that you have uh, the bones that are influenced by uh, by the jaw open expression, and uh, it's gonna show you what's going on. And uh, we're gonna open the jaw like this. This is how we want our jaw to open, right? And maybe uh, let's uh, let's rotate a little bit this just so we can have a little bit more emotion, right? So uh, this is how uh, our jaw open looks and uh, what we need to do is bake DNA expression. Uh, now uh, we're not uh, gonna do uh, forward and back, we're gonna do left and uh, we're gonna do the same. Uh, for this, I for the left side, I just want to pull up the finger a little bit and maybe just for a little bit of motion here, we're just gonna do again some, some stuff with the fingers so we have some movement as well in this area, right? And uh, let's uh, bake uh, DNA expression. And uh, for jaw right, I want uh, this to uh, go down just like this, right? And maybe we can rotate these bones a little bit add them some motion and move them a little bit down and uh, let's uh, bake DNA expression and now let's uh, fix the eyes uh, we have uh, look left uh, for the right eye so let's uh, look uh, left so the, that's left now let's look down Okay, maybe just like this. Okay. Let's make it down. Uh, now we look right. And uh, uh, let's uh, look up now. And let's bake DNA expression. And uh, let's uh, do the same for the right, uh, for the left eye, which is the pinky finger. We're gonna look up. Okay. Let's bake this down. Now uh, let's uh, look right. like this let's bake as well and now let's look left and finally look down uh, you can uh, do all these expressions these are expressions related to the bones we've selected so you can uh, go ahead and try to do whatever it fits you uh, for our experiment here we don't have any anything else to do we don't have a tongue maybe you can move the ear uh, you have ear up so let's uh, let's do this ear up uh, this is the left side okay not this one let's go with ring two and maybe just a little bit from ring three. Okay. And uh, let's uh, bake this down as well. And uh, we should have here, let's search for it actually. And uh, we have the same for uh, the right ear, right? So let's push it up a little bit and let's just add some extra motion from uh, the middle uh, thing, uh, middle three, right? So let's bake this down as well. And uh, now I think uh, we're good to go uh, for our experiment here. Uh, we have no bones left to configure. And uh, let's uh, let's select. Let's see if we have the default metahuman rig. Okay, don't forget to add your default metahuman rig as well, or you can add it in sequencer, it's up to you. 
and now let's add our actor here which is going to be new blueprint and uh, let's test uh, what's going on right so both eyes now are moving and now uh, let's move only the right eye left eye and uh, let's push it back and now uh, let's see the jaw this is how it opens this is how it talks right this is what happens when the jaw opens and uh, we also have the ears and this is what uh, we've uh, created uh, uh, in a poser right for our selected bones so uh, this is it guys uh, I think uh, this uh, makes uh, another cool example of what we can achieve uh, with the uh, mesh morpher and uh, custom skeletons custom uh, meshes uh, it's up to you uh, if uh, you like it or not if, but if you do hit the like button if you don't hit the dislike button and see you around bye